Uh, thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Xu Yang from Alibaba Group. Uh, uh, it's my pleasure to share um, our work on Flink, uh, building Alibaba's common algorithm platform. Uh, it's today's uh, agenda. Uh, first, uh, I, I'd like to give a short uh, introduction on the background, and then why we are uh, uh, based on Flink and Blink. Blink is uh, Alibaba's version of Flink. Uh, improve some uh, feature issues on large-scale uh, situation. And then I will introduce the uh, uh, architecture and the functionality of, the, of our algorithm platform. Uh, last but not the least, I will show some demos. Yeah, Alibaba Group is a big family, include Taobao, Tmall, uh, AliCloud, and uh, I'm in the uh, Alibaba computing platform, which is provide uh, ba <coughs> uh, basic uh, uh, storage and uh, computing infrastructure for the whole Alibaba group. And uh, I, uh, I'm working focused uh, on the platform of AI. We call it a Pi. Uh, and Pi has thousands of users in Alibaba and the tens of thousands of uh, users outside Alibaba. Uh, well, one year ago, uh, Pi is focused on the batch jobs, uh, and uh, there are more and more requirements on the stream processing and an analysis. Um, and uh, most of users, they, uh, they are not a coding expert. They want uh, more implemented, implemented uh, uh, algorithms and a graphical user interface to help have, have them build their app application easily. Um, we finally choose the type of, of link uh, to build our streaming algorithm platform. Um, uh, our <laughs> platform's code name is uh, 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 a link. It's the common part of uh, the related words, Alibaba, algorithm, AI, Flink, and Blink. Currently, we supported uh, st statistic, uh, machine learning, recommendation, auto outlier, uh, algorithms. This is the uh, architecture. Uh, the blue part is the same with the Flink ar uh, architecture, and the right one, uh, a link. Uh, you see the lower layer uh, has uh, is our extended uh, algorithm leaves, uh, such as uh, statistical statistic, uh, uh, algorithms for batch and uh, streaming, machine learning for batch and streaming. Uh, please note that there's a little layer of uh, common leaves. This, uh, this is very important for one algorithm uh, has the common part in batch uh, implementation and stream implementation. And uh, uh, between the different uh, algorithms, there are some common parts, such as uh, matrix computation. Uh, and uh, this part is uh, uh, cost of our most of the times to build uh, many algorithms. And uh, the, upper lower, the upper level is the um, um, it's the concept for the user. Uh, the stream operator is the basic unit for the stream processing. And the one operator is an uh, algorithm. It uh, imp implemented uh, one simple or difficult uh, function. Uh, and the, the top layer is uh, um, it's the user interface. We provide the SDK, web UI, and client, and the visualization. This we provide three ways, web UI, client, and the console for users to use it. Uh, this is a snapshot of a, a link web UI. You see the left-hand side is the main menu. We select the components, then uh, it will sh uh, the components will group by stream and uh, batch. Uh, you can see here, this is the stream and this is the batch. And each group has many categories. 
each category have several several functions. We select uh, we select uh, and uh, drop the components here. This is this is canvas is the uh, working work working area. Uh, we can build the, the workflow here. And the right side hand is the area for citing properties and the parameters. Uh, this is the data source. Also, it includes a stream type and a batch type. Uh, next is the experiment. Each workflow, we take it as an experiment. This is, uh, this is a list the user can access and click any name. The according workflow will show on the canvas. Uh, okay, uh, if you have built a workflow, then just click this button. It will run. And uh, in running, we can view the log. Please pay attention here. We also print, uh, pr also provide the uh, Flink tracking URL. This URL, you can see the Flink dashboard. And also, we can view the re result. On the streaming, we, we provide uh, much visualizations, uh, such as this. It can see the line and the, the uh, important uh, number. Also, we can um, configure uh, which parameter, which statistic and visualization type uh, you want. Second is the client, client method. Uh, compare with web UI, it provides a local run method. You can just run and, uh, your workflow uh, on your, your laptop. And also, uh, oh, it provides, uh, you, you can edit and run script. Here is the snapshot. You can say, uh, here list out some tables. Uh, and this, you can see the, the table details. And here is the uh, statistical result. Uh, you can also see the histogram. And this one is the for this area for the uh, editor script. Pay attention to the, uh, this button. The, um, the green one is for local run. And the red one is for cluster run. When you, when you click here, uh, this script will be sent to the, uh, to the uh, cluster and run there. Mm. And the third <laughs> method is the console. It, just, it uh, has all the functionality of a client just without a graphic UI. Uh, here is the uh, function. It uh, has three parts. The first part is a statistic and the visualization. Uh, here, I'd like to say uh, for streaming data, uh, I think it has two important uh, uh, phases. One is current. Uh, how about uh, the data uh, last the three seconds, last the one minute? And uh, it's the history. And uh, the second one is the history. Uh, what happened from it began to now? And we provide the uh, basic statistics and also some statistical analysis. Uh, here, we'll, we show a demo. It uh, will help you to easily understand it. Uh, it's the trading amount and the location. Uh, here is the user ID. Uh, this is the place, the province, uh, time. Uh, it's the pay of the trade. Uh, this is the shop score and the uh, comment count of shop. Uh, shop level uh, is the catalog. Uh, first, uh, we will see the show the, the concept of current and history. How can we uh, visual, uh, display them? We show, uh, you can see here, <coughs> this is the stream of uh, data, and uh, th these are, uh, we link to function. Oh, sorry. <coughs> It's a, first one is all state. All state is for history. State from start to now. And the second is the win, Windows state. That's the state, uh, uh, for example, the last second. We will uh, focus on the trading amount and also uh, 
the frequency of shop level. Shop level uh, has three uh, different uh, value, uh, high, mid, uh, medium, and low. Now, it's, see this uh, video. When the computing, um, we can see uh, uh, every three second, it will show, uh, uh, show us letters. And this is the bubble, it's the bubble di display, and this is the uh, bar display. We can see the, uh, oh, sorry. We can see the variance uh, from time. Uh, And the right, uh, the right uh, two figure is about the, uh, is about the, the trade count, and the upper one is for the, is for the window, and the, the lower one is for the history. You see, and uh, the count is always increase, and uh, uh, at the different time, the count varies uh, a little. Okay, next uh, we show the distribution. Uh, first, uh, we filter the, the stream into two. Uh, first, uh, this is the shop level is low, and the second is the shop level is high. We'll show uh, the, dis the distribution difference. Uh, here, uh, the, uh, the first, uh, uh, the top row is for the uh, low shop level, and uh, the, the below one is the high shop level. We can see uh, the column, the right column is for the uh, pay. And uh, for the low shop level, you can display is, uh, is focused on the uh, low area. And uh, for the high, for the high t t shop level, uh, the pay is around the 12. Uh, and the, the right one is for the, uh, it's for the count of a comment. And for the uh, low shop level, the count number uh, is, uh, is also low. And uh, for the high shop level, the count is about five. It's much higher. Next, uh, <coughs> we will show some uh, relationship of the feature. First, uh, is the numerical features, and uh, second, uh, is the uh, categorical features. They will use different uh, statistical uh, method. On the top uh, is the mountain uh, linear linearity, and uh, in the uh, middle is the uh, uh, correlation uh, matrix, and the left is the correspondence analysis. The right one is the uh, ranking list, uh, it not uh, is cross table. Okay. Uh, next, uh, we'll show the uh, ranking list. Uh, uh, how about the uh, premiums, uh, different premiums, uh, the uh, user, the trade count, and the uh, pay. Uh, also, we'll uh, consider the catalog. Uh, in the middle is the China, uh, China map, and uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll show the the trade count variance between the province. Okay, uh, the second part of the functionality is about the uh, data processing and the recommendation. We have implemented about four or 
common use the algorithms, and uh, six uh, common uh, algorithm of the outer layer. Also, we provide the natural language processing. And this is very important for the text uh, data. Using this NLP uh, algorithms, uh, we can extract uh, the features for the next uh, machine learning training and the prediction. We also provide two clustering uh, algorithm. The three part uh, uh, is about the uh, classification and the regression. We also provide the online, online learning method. Uh, here, I'd like to give a demo for the text classification. Uh, um, it has, uh, it has its product reviews, and from the reviews we can give a rating value, uh, from one to five. One is uh, very bad, and uh, five is very good. Mm. Now uh, we want to get a model. Uh, just from the uh, text, review text, we can give a uh, prediction on the uh, rating. Mm. Here is the is the work is the work, work, work flow. A piece of pay attention to this. It will give two models. One model is how to convert text to features, and the next model is the. Uh, Predict is the uh, machine learning model. This is the training part. Uh, next, uh, this is the prediction part. You see, this is the uh, text vector model and plus the machine learning model. Uh, the blue one is for the streaming uh, co component, the red one. And the yellow one is for the batch component. For the model, it's just the load ones we can take uh, as batch, batch data. You see, uh, this, uh, uh, we can, from this uh, component, we can predict the, the rating result. And the next, uh, we will show, we will connect some component to visualize the predicting result. The middle is the confusion matrix. It's very uh, common for the machine learning. <laughs> and uh, the right part uh, is for the uh, is for the prediction pred uh, for the accuracy. And uh, uh, and the scores uh, uh, we have pro we have processed the the right one. Um, the upper is for the uh, cur uh, current uh, the dis uh, uh, current per percentage of each uh, each labels, and the upper one is the it will show the predict result of the variance. Okay, this demo is to show how to use the uh, script. Um, we use handwriting recognition. Uh, and, um, each handwriting is um, a gray uh, picture. And the gray picture, we can take it as uh, the matrix. Uh, values uh, vary from zero to one. And one mean black, zero mean, uh, mean white. So uh, this is the uh, uh, total script for uh, the use the machine learning method, uh, use the logistic regression to give a, uh, to build a model. And uh, here, this uh, we create, we describe the model, and here we uh, train, train the training data, and we can batch, uh, batch prediction this. This is use the machine learning method. If we want to use the deep learning method, we just change some script. It will add some code. This one is 
we will add some tensor processing process to process, reshape and uh, uh, standard. This is the deep learning pipe OP. We can um, run the deep learning training here. This part is the defined neural network. And here is the same process. We can train, call the tree and uh, predict a batch. We also, uh, for the streaming data, we can also use the predict uh, stream. So uh, use the script, it's very uh, easy for our using the machine learning uh, method. Just write uh, tens of code, script code. OK, uh, this is the uh, demo for the recommendation of movies. Uh, uh, the, the, the right part shows the training process of the, uh, of the recommend, uh, recommendation model. In this page, uh, it includes the two parts. The right, the right one is the how to uh, recommendation on the batch data. And the right, the right one is uh, recommendation on the stream data. Um, we, give a, uh, we give two cases to show uh, the result. Uh, we care about the user ID is 100. Uh, you see, uh, he like uh, uh, the movie. Uh, the movie type is a uh, comedy, and uh, our recommendation result is also most of them is a comedy. Another case is for the ID. Uh, he like uh, some movie of uh, animation. And our recommendation result also include many animation movies. And here is the uh, online visualization. The left part shows the uh, recommendation count variance. The top one is the current count, and the below one is the accumulated counts. On the right part, the, flow, <laughs> the upper one is show the uh, list of uh, recently we common most. And the below is the distribution of the we common the, the rating, rating values of we recommended. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Ah. Ah, okay. Uh, the, the last one is the, about the outer layer. You see uh, this data, the, the left column is the uh, right domain name, and this is the uh, fraud domain name. We provide uh, uh, AGD detection algorithm. This is the training process, and this is the online prediction process. Use this one, we can easily get the, the result. No, the, the, the lower value means uh, it's uh, high probability to be a fraud. This is the uh, uh, bottom key, bottom 10 uh, prediction result. And uh, this is the distribution. And here is the uh, distribution percentage. Uh, OK. <laughs> Okay, uh, thanks. These are all my demos. Uh, uh, oh. Any questions? Let's thank the speaker and uh, any questions. I mean, it's already the, the time for the break, but uh, whoever wants to stay to post some questions to the, the speaker, please stay. The rest, you can all go to have some coffee outside. Oh. Okay, thank you.